Generally speaking, whenever energy flows into a system or object, that system or object's temperature will increase. So there is a direct relationship between the amount of energy that flows into our system given by the capital letter Q and the change in temperature that our object or system experiences. So it turns out that the exact relationship is given by the following equation. Equation. So the amount of energy that flows into or leaves our system given in joules is equal to the product of C, the proportionality constant, also known as a specific heat, M, the mass of our object given in kilograms, and delta T, the change in temperature that our object experiences. So notice the specific heat, the C value, depends on the type of substance or material that we are using. What are the units of specific heat? So, if we take this equation and rearrange and solve for C, we'll see that C is equal to the ratio of Q to the product of M times delta T. So that implies that the units of specific heat are joules per kilogram times Celsius. So for example, if we examine water at 15 degrees Celsius, we will see that the specific heat is given by 4.186 times 10 to the 3 joules per kilogram times Celsius. So notice we can use the units to define specific heat in another way. So the specific heat of a particular substance is the amount of energy that is required to raise one kilogram of that substance by one degree Celsius. So for water at 15 degrees Celsius, it requires 4,186 joules of energy to raise one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. So let's look at the following example in which we're going to apply this equation. So let's suppose that the specific heat of water is 4,186 joules per kilogram times degree Celsius and the specific heat of iron is 450 joules per kilogram times Celsius. So in part A, determine how much energy is required to raise 50 kilograms of iron from 25 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. So we simply use this equation. So the amount of energy given in joules is equal to M times T times delta T. So the M is 50 kilograms, the C is 450, and the delta T is simply 100 minus 25. So that gives us 75. So we multiply these two values out and we get 1,687.5 kilojoules of energy is required to raise 50 kilograms of iron from 25 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. Now let's move on to part B. Calculate how much more energy is required to raise the temperature of 50 kilograms of water from 25 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. So once again, we apply this equation. So we have the mass of water is 50 kilograms. The C is given to be this quantity and the delta T is once again 75 degrees Celsius. We multiply these values out and we find that the amount of energy that is required to increase 50 kilograms of water from 25 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius is 15,697.5 kilojoules of energy. And finally, to find the difference, we simply take this and subtract this value, and we get about 14,000 kilojoules of energy. So 14,010 kilojoules of energy. That's how many more kilojoules of energy is required to raise the temperature of water than iron.